Hi, I'm Adrian Dwyer, Chief Executive of Infrastructure Partnerships Australia. Today was the New South Wales 2018-19 budget, the last of this budget season. Of course, South Australia's budget is in September. It's also the last New South Wales budget before the election in March 2019. We've been in the budget lockup. We've been pouring over the budget papers. So here's all the things you need to know. The total infrastructure programme in this budget is $87 billion over four years. That's another record for New South Wales and the largest infrastructure spend over four years in the nation. It's really become quite routine now for New South Wales to announce a record budget in recent years, but it's important to remember there's hard yards behind that. It's really things the asset recycling scheme and um, strong fiscal discipline, keeping costs under control. that's allowed New South Wales to post record after record infrastructure spend. I wanted to just briefly talk about the fiscal and economic position in New South Wales. It would be quite easy to look at this budget in isolation and talk about the $87 billion infrastructure programme, but the roots of that programme really go back five or six years to things like the asset recycling that New South Wales has done. So there's 2017-18 um, sees a $3.9 billion surplus, there's projected surpluses averaging $1.6 billion over the forward estimates. Um, net debt position is really strong in New South Wales, peaks at negative net debt of $9.8 billion uh, in June this year. Uh, AAA credit rating has been reaffirmed by this budget. And of course the record investment from the proceeds of asset recycling is driving its own economic momentum and economic growth uh, in New South Wales and that growth is projected over the forward estimates. So let's dive into the budget and look at some of the specific investments. The headline feature is the $3 million for land acquisition, tunnelling and early works on the Metro West rail project between Parramatta and the Sydney CBD. Uh, $28 million in the coming financial year to complete the business case on that project. It doesn't say explicitly in the budget papers, but I was assured by a Treasury official in the lockup that that $3 billion does lie in the forward estimates period. Of course, it's a $10 billion plus project, so we'll need to see more in future budgets to complete the project. Uh, on the F6, pre-announcement was confirmed $1.2 billion towards stage one of that road toll project in uh, Sydney South. Away from transport, the budget confirms the announcement from last week about a $6 billion investment in 170 schools across the state. Uh, that's over the next four years, $6 billion of capital on new or upgraded schools. I won't do the full list of 170 now, but we'll post a link in the comments below and we'll also include the full list in the member newsletter that goes out later today. In health, there's $8 million to provide 40 new or upgraded hospitals across the state. Key feature, $740 million to invest in Liverpool Hospital to bring that to a world-class health and academic precinct. There's also a $700 million mental health infrastructure program that'll upgrade hospitals across the state to provide new models of care for mental health services. So that's the New South Wales budget. Thanks for joining me for the update. For our members, you'll get the last of this year's budget reports, our special edition newsletter that will come into your inbox this afternoon. Uh, please encourage your colleagues to sign up for the newsletter. They can do that on the website, infrastructure.org.au, or you can just drop me a message and we'll get you signed up. Uh, for our non-members, remember to go to infrastructurepipeline.org. There you can sign up for our pipeline reports and get free access to project updates right across the country. Thanks for joining me.